Hello there. Certainly glad you could join me today. Today on The Joy of Songwriting, we're going to be doing How To King Cruel. I figured that I would just move that series into this series uh, because I'm effectively doing the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and run everything across the screen that you're going to need to write along with me. Let's get started. So I've already started our canvas here with a uh, layer of guitar, some spacious sounding guitar, uh, as King Cruel typically does. He is quite familiar with reverb. I'm sure you King Cruel fans would agree. So I just have a completely washed out guitar uh, laying the rhythm down. And over top of that, I just have another guitar uh, playing this part, like, on the headstock, the chimey stuff, uh, just to add some, just to add some ambiance. So let's listen to what that sounds like, shall we? over here. Yeah. I just went on Google and uh, I typed in jazz chords and clicked on images just so I could see the chord chart and uh, you know I, we already know the major seventh major sevenths because um, those are fairly common nowadays but uh, I also did this chord nope I don't know what that is but it sounds pretty jazzy so I went with that and I also did this thing which is like the major seventh shape but you move your pointer finger up one so it's like a it's like a box on the fretboard almost I use that in a few places uh, but yeah that is the uh, rhythm guitar next I'm gonna put the drums down just so I can have the foundation the skeleton of the song in place so that I can fill it in with organs and muscles and whatnot. So I'll see you then. Alrighty then, we've laid down some drums. Let's hear them. <laughs> Eventually in the song, I think after the second chorus, I'm going to try and go into like a, some sort of syncopated drum beat, maybe have some horns come in, have a jazzy section like there is in Lizard State by King Cruel, uh, also taking inspiration from Dumb Server here. Those are my two favorites, so why not, baby? Uh, yeah, so next I guess I will, uh, I think I'm done with the guitar chords. Uh, I know what I'm doing with the drums. I guess I'll lay some bass down. And that should be it for the core of the band. Uh, I'm gonna do the bass tomorrow because it's late and I'm tired. Plus I like doing that weird transition thing that I did in the first episode. So let's do it again. And time travel. 
I already did the bass. I wrote it and recorded it. Uh, my ethos for this was just sort of making a bass line that is driving rather than flashy. Though during the jazz, jazzy part uh, toward the bridge, it does get a little more complicated, I guess, but not not so super complicated. Uh, let's just listen to some excerpts from this uh, and to show you how far I've come. Okay. I'll just start with playing the bass. Oh, another note. Uh, I started, I sort of just droned on the bass on a note that's, uh, I did like a tritone. That's an element of King Cruel, I think, is a little bit of eeriness. Uh, so that's what I did. I'll just play the intro. And the bass is also out of time in the beginning, which I... Which is not purely intentional. I was trying to count, but I was a little off, but I managed to get on time when the song actually kicked in, so I thought it was a cool little thing. So I kept it in. I uh, uh, added some more uh, sort of left field guitar sounds, sort of like percussion during the chorus, which I'll let a cool little sound effect just to add some of that uh, and I'll just play the jazz jazzy part because I think it's cool I palm muted the bass to keep it sort of mellow. Um, what else? Oh, uh, one thing I took away from listening to some King Cruel songs before I started this is that he likes to do this chord progression that I'm going to show you. It's only two chords, uh, but he does it in a few songs. Uh, for instance, let's just do it on D minor, uh, D major seventh. This is basically just the verse chords for Dumb Surfer. And I I did it during the jazz part, because why not? Uh, so it's just a major seventh. And then it's that little box thingy that I talked about earlier. It might be a diminished chord. I'm not exactly sure what it is, um, but it sounds very jazzy. It's the uh, major. It's the major seventh shape, just moving your pointer finger up one fret. It's a nice little progression. So I used it. Um, up next, I'm going to put some horns in there. Uh, probably a saxophone, which is technically woodwind, I suppose. Uh, so I'm going to put that in into certain spots and then I will show you it. Okay. All right, I got some sax down and it sounds pretty sweet, honestly. I did not expect it to sound as cool as it does. Of course, it's not a real saxophone. Can't sound as good as a real saxophone, but we got something, let me show ya. sexy stuff going on there. Uh, here's the chorus. Yeah, 
And I got a sax solo in the bridge. So let's listen to that. Yeah, baby. Uh, these uh, these Logic uh, horns uh, are not so bad, actually, because uh, you can like click. Sorry, you can click on a note and you can uh, pick how you want it to be played. So if you want that sort of thing, sort of thing, sort of thing, uh, you want to do the growl, which makes it sound like uh, this. So, all sorts of options. You can do the violins too, which I have experimented with a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so next, I gotta write some words. Uh, I gotta record them tomorrow though because it is late again. Can't manage my time, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to write some words, and I will check back in uh, tomorrow. Back again. <laughs> back again, third day. Uh, I've got quite the uh, color ensemble right now. But that's beside the point. Uh, beside, beside my hair looking like Cletus. Um... I've written the lyrics and recorded them, and <clears throat> that means the song is done. Uh, but there are other little production things that I did to spice it up a little bit and add more atmosphere. Um, let's just play certain parts and I'll tell you what I was thinking. that's the first verse I muffled the drums there and I also kept the bass sort of just in the sub bass region just to add some more atmosphere let the song build a little bit um you know I think he's all about atmosphere a lot of the time um so that's what I went for uh anything else uh, for the second verse, I kind of switched up the drum pattern a little bit. I will show you. I will show you. All my life I've been stuck yeah, I did that instead of it just going... Just because it felt more jazzy. <laughs> and for the vocals, um, I noticed he does a lot of vocal doubling which is uh, when you just sing it twice, um, layered. Uh, there are certain parts that stay just a solo vocal, and then certain parts, the double comes in. During the chorus, it's always a double. During the verse, it's sort of half and half, solo and double. For example... Everyone is looking posh and I wonder why. Yep. I sang in a lower <laughs> register to, uh, you know, do his thing. Kind of. Uh, I, had, I added a shit ton of reverb because that is also... One of his traits is just a lot of reverb. I might have, might have added too much, but, you know, I've listened to this song quite a few times now, and I just like how it sounds like this. Um, yeah. I'm going to uh, master it now and put this video together. Um, overall, I... 
think it sounds in the realm of King Cruel, for sure. I think it gets a little more weird than this one. This one's pretty run-of-the-mill, mid-tempo pop song type thing. But, you know, I try to go for his musical themes, his vocal themes, lyrical themes, everything that I thought, everything that I could pick out. So, I got an email. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from all of us here. Safe travels. To try this trick to get by My medicines brought my needs to the sky Everyone is looking posh and I wonder why We can't afford shit cause our wallets run dry Forming a white picket fence Forming a white picket fence All my life I've been stuck inside So many birds long to make me cry Angles in on my faith and no means to bribe Forming a white picket fence Forming a white Why?